Welcome to Today in Nerd History. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Eye of the Beholder, aired February 26, 1994. In this episode, as a young lieutenant aboard the Enterprise commits suicide, his shipmates deal with the loss and Deanna deals with feelings surrounding her as she and Worf begin to form a relationship. Star Trek Deep Space Nine, A Session, aired February 26, 1996. In this episode, a man claiming to be the emissary comes through the wormhole, and Sisko is happy to give up that position. Meanwhile, Keiko returns and O'Brien stops spending time with Bashir. Star Trek Voyager Life Signs aired February 26, 1996. In this episode, the Doctor's adaptive programming allows him to experience romantic feelings when he treats a Vidian female in advanced stages of the phage. Star Trek Voyager Rise aired February 26, 1997. In this episode, when a Nezu planet is hit by asteroids, Voyager intervenes by sending Tuvok and Neelix to help with the rescue mission. Star Trek Enterprise Canamar aired February 26, 2003. In this episode, Archer and Trip are accused of smuggling and sent to the penal colony, Canamar, and a mutiny breaks out on the prison ship. Remembering Johnny Cash Born February 26, 1932, and passed away September 12, 2003. John R. Cash was an American singer songwriter, musician, actor, and author. He is one of the best-selling music artists of all time, having sold more than 90 million records worldwide. His genre-spanning songs and sound embraced country, rock and roll, rockabilly, blues, folk, and gospel. He died of complications from diabetes. Remembering Jackie Gleason, born February 26, 1916, and passed away June 24, 1987. John Herbert Gleason was a comedian, actor, writer, composer, and conductor, developing a style and characters from growing up in Brooklyn, New York. He was known for his brash visual and verbal comedy exemplified by his bus driver Ralph Cramden character in the TV series The Honeymooners. He also developed the Jackie Gleason show which maintained high ratings from the mid-1950s through 1970. Among his notable film roles were Minnesota Fats in 1961's The Hustler and Buford T. Justice in Smokey and the Bandit series from 1977 to the early 1980s. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, he enjoyed a prominent secondary music career, producing a series of best-selling mood music albums. His first album, Music for Lovers Only, still holds the record for the longest stay on the Billboard Top 10 charts, and his first 10 albums sold over a million copies each. Happy birthday, Chase Masterson, born February 26, 1963. Chase Masterson, born Christiane Carafano, played Lita in Star Trek Deep Space Nine during the final five seasons. The role of Lita was created for her as a one-episode character, but the producers were so impressed with her performance that they wrote the character into facets and subsequently decided to add her to the list of recurring characters. 
She also lent her voice as a holographic Lita for the video game Star Trek Online and can be found at the game's Dabo table in Quarks on DS9 along with other instances of a Dabo table. In game, the hologram states various canon inspired references including her missing ROM. She guest starred a number of times in the short lived series Live Shot and was in the Star Trek fan film of Gods and Men. Her other projects include Robotech, The Shadow Chronicles, and a starring role in the film Yesterday Was a Lie, as well as the film R.U.R. Her first major role came in 1994 as Ivy Leaf on General Hospital. Her television guest starring roles include E.R. and Sliders, she hosted an Entertainment Tonight style news program for the Sci-Fi Channel in the 1990s called Sci-Fi Entertainment and an internet-based radio talk show for the website The Fandom. She appeared in two Doctor Who audio adventures from Big Finish Productions and then had her own spin-off series, Vienna, as impossibly glamorous bounty hunter Vienna Salvatore. She has released two commercial records, 2011's Yesterday Was a Lie and 2012's Burned with Desire. In addition, she has released several independent jazz CDs, Thrill of the Chase, whose title is a play on her stage name, the follow-up EP Ad Estrera, Latin for To the Stars, the limited edition Crystal Anniversary, Songs from the Hollow Suite in honor of Star Trek Deep Space Nine's 15th anniversary and the greatest hits compilation Jazz Cocktail. She was named Best Feature Film Producer of 2008 by the LA Femme Film Festival, say that three times fast, for her work as producer of the mystery drama Yesterday Was a Lie. In 2013, she co founded the Pop Culture Hero Coalition, a nonprofit organization speaking out against bullying, racism, misogyny, cyberbullying, LGBT bullying, and many other forms of hate. Rock on, girl. Happy birthday, Bill Duke. Born February 26, 1943. William Henry Duke Jr. is an actor and film director. Known for his physically imposing frame, his work frequently dwells within the action film genre as well as crime and drama genres, but also includes comedy. Standing at six foot four and a half inches tall and featuring a closely shaved head, he first became a familiar face to moviegoers in Car Wash and American Gigolo. He notably worked opposite Arnold Schwarzenegger in both Commando and Predator, followed by Action Jackson. He appeared uncredited as a DEA officer in The Limey, as well as a police chief opposite Steven Seagal in Exit Wounds. He played a detective investigating a murder in Menace to Society, played a corrupt law enforcement agent in two films opposite Mel Gibson, Bird on a Wire as an FBI agent, and Payback as a police detective. He appears in X-Men The Last Stand as Trask, Washington in National Security, The VAR in Get Rich or Die Trying, and Noakes in Bad Country. He directed the TV movie The Killing Floor, and began directing movies in the 1990s with A Rage in Harlem, Deep Cover, Hoodlum, The Cemetery Club, and Sister Act Two: Back in the Habit. For television, he directed the A&E Network original film, The Golden Spiders, A Nero Wolf Mystery. In 2007, he directed the reenactments in the award-winning PBS broadcast documentary, Prince Among Slaves. He made an early appearance on Kojak as Silk in the episode Bad Dude. 
He guest starred in Lost in its third season as Warden Harris in the episode Every Man for Himself. He also guest starred in Battlestar Galactica in the season 2 episode Black Market. He had a starring role in the short-lived TV series Palmerstown, USA. He played Captain Parrish in Fastlane and made a guest appearance on Bazden After Dark and guest starred on Cold Case. He voiced a detective in the episode Thank You for Not Snitching of the animated TV series The Boondocks. He also appears in Buster Rhymes' music video Dangerous. In Black Lightning, he plays reoccurring character Agent Percy O'Dell, who is a dedicated ASA government official. Remembering Lawrence Montaigne, born February 26, 1931, and passed away March 17, 2017. Born in New York, but raised in Rome, Italy, he spoke several languages, a skill he used to his advantage in securing roles in international productions. He served in the United States Marine Corps and was only one platoon apart in the Paris Island boot camp from his future friend, Steve McQueen. In The Outer Limits, he played a construction worker in the episode Cold Hands, Warm Heart. He played Dr. Chauncey Hartland in the 1965 Perry Mason episode, The Case of the Carefree Coronary. He played one of the first Romulans on Star Trek, The Cesis, in the episode Balance of Terror. He later played a Vulcan named Stan in A Mock Time. In addition, he guest starred on Batman, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, The Man from Uncle, Blue Light, Mission Impossible, The Time Tunnel, The Invaders, Perry Mason, McLeod, and The Feather and the Father Gang. His motion picture appearances include The Great Escape, Captain Sinbad, Tobruk, The Power, The Psycho Lover, Escape to Witch Mountain, Framed, Young Lady Chatterley, Deadly Blessings, and Dakota. In 2007, he returned to the role of Stan in the fan film Star Trek of Gods and Men. In late 2007, he played Commander Velar in the pilot episode of the audio series Star Trek The Continuing Mission. Happy birthday, Marta Kristen, born February 26, 1945. Marta Kristen was born Bridget Annalisa Rusanen in Oslo, Norway, to a Finnish mother and a German soldier father who was killed during World War II. She is best known for her role as Judy Robinson on the TV series Lost in Space. She first appeared in a 1961 episode of Alfred Hitchcock Presents called Bang, You're Dead, alongside Billy Mummy, who would later co-star with her in Lost in Space. Her first success in acting was the role of Lorelei in the 1965 movie Beach Blanket Bingo. She would later star in Lost in Space and make numerous guest appearances on television shows. When her daughter was born in 1969, she began making television commercials and eventually appeared in more than 40. She also made the occasional film appearance in movies such as Terminal Island and Battle Beyond the Stars. She starred in the 1998 TV movie Lost in Space Forever and had a cameo role in the 1998 movie Lost in Space. She also appeared in the A&E biography, Jonathan Harris, Never Fear, Smith is Here, in 2002. She also provided voice work for the 2009 animated theatrical short, The Bolt Who Screwed Christmas, which also included voice work from her Lost in Space co-stars, Harris, Mummy, and Angela Cartwright.
Happy birthday, Wilda Taylor, born February 26, 1930. Wilda Taylor is an actress, dancer, and choreographer who appeared as a Suluban woman in the Star Trek Enterprise episode Detained in 2002. She was a choreographer and dancer in the late 1950s and 60s and made some TV and movie appearances such as Perry Mason and Frankie and Johnny with Elvis Presley. Thank you very much. In the late 90s, she continued to work as an actress on projects such as on the comedy Goat on Fire and Smiling Fish and the short comedy Sunday's Game as well as on episodes of Port Charles and Six Feet Under. Remembering Theodore Sturgeon, born February 26, 1918, and passed away May 8, 1985. Theodore Sturgeon, born Edward Hamilton Waldo, was a prolific science fiction author. He made his mark in the Star Trek universe, crafting the backstory for Spock and the Vulcans in the Star Trek episode A Mock Time, and that episode garnered him a Hugo Award nomination. He wrote two Star Trek episodes, Shore Leave and the aforementioned A Mock Time. He also wrote two unproduced story outlines, The Joy Machine, which was later developed into a first draft teleplay by Meyer Dolinsky, and then into a novel by James Gunn, published by Pocket Books. And the second, Shore Leave 2, an intended sequel to Shore Leave. Happy birthday, Veronica Ingo, born February 26, 1979. She is an actress, singer, and model. In 2017, she played Paige Tico, the older sister to Rose Tico, in Star Wars The Last Jedi. Happy birthday, Jad Magger, born February 26, 1969. He played Tabor in two episodes of Star Trek Voyager, including Nothing Human and Repression. Happy birthday, Jonathan Schmock, born February 26, 1956. He played the lead alien in the Star Trek Enterprise finale, these are the voyages. He is probably more well known as a writer and producer for TV sitcoms. He created or developed the TV series Brotherly Love and Sabrina the Teenage Witch and has written and produced for Blossom and Dharma and Greg. He was also an executive consultant producer for the AMC series The Lot. He also directed episodes of this series, as well as for Dharma and Greg and My Wife and Kids. As an actor, he appeared in the movies Ferris Bueller's Day Off as the snooty Mater D, Some Kind of Wonderful, Surf Ninjas, and City of Industry. Happy Birthday, Michael Cumstey, born February 26, 1958. He played Lord Burley in the Star Trek Voyager episodes Cathexis and Persistence of Vision. Prior to his appearances on Voyager, he briefly became a regular on L.A. Law during the 1991-92 season, playing the role of Frank Kitteridge. Remembering Shea Duffin, born February 26, 1931, and passed away April 23, 2010. He played Ned Quint in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Sub Rosa. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>